arrested and booked inside the same jail where he once visited clients. Defense attorney Ronald Lewis now faces two felony charges in up to 10 years in prison, accused of smuggling drugs to inmates in Houston's Harris County Jail. Carry multiple sheets of paper contaminated with a substance that is now being tested to confirm with whether it's indeed an illegal narcotic. Deputies say the 77-year-old was a major supplier, believed to have delivered papers laced with ecstasy, synthetic marijuana, and narcotics disguised as legal mail and documents to inmates in exchange for money. Inmates will pay the attorney $250 to $500 to bring in the lace paper. Two inmates died after ingesting substances Lewis brought into the jail, court documents say, and several others reported adverse side effects. These dangerous narcotics are killing people and it needs to stop. Investigators say that from July to November, Lewis met with 14 inmates, none of whom he was representing, after which officers found more than 150 papers likely sprayed or dipped with a chemical compound. On numerous occasions, the inmates being visited by Mr. Lewis were found to have sheets of paper laced with narcotics. Court documents show Lewis admitted only to receiving payments for delivering papers. Lewis has not yet pled to the charges. His attorney tells NBC News, we are in the process of giving a thorough investigation of the facts in this case. The Harris County Sheriff's Department launched an investigation earlier this year after an uptick in drug overdoses inside the county jail. While Lewis is the first arrest, the sheriff says there are other attorneys still under investigation and that his arrests likely won't be the last. We are not cynical or naive enough to think that this one arrest will solve our jail drug problem. And as for what's being done to address this drug issue, as the investigation continues, the sheriff's office says that they are photocopying all incoming mail and documents, and they're working to transition to a fully digital system. And it's important to know that this is one of several issues plaguing the Harris County Jail. Over the past year or so, they have failed a number of inspections for things like failure to provide medical care and lax monitoring of an inmate who died, among other violations. Tom. Priscilla Thompson there for us tonight. Priscilla, we appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.